This video outlines in short, the steps of creating an annual safety report, or ASR. It presents how to create an ASR and how to populate the ASR form sections. How to submit an ASR. And lastly, how to cancel an ASR form. In the Sponsor Workspace, in the Annual Safety Reporting tab, you can view all the ASRs that have been created by the organization. By clicking on the New ASR button, you can create a new annual safety report. An ASR form opens. It is articulated in four steps or sections. The Sponsor Information. The Clinical Trial Detail. The ASR Reporting Period Details. And the Supporting Documents and Submit section. On the top right corner of the form, there are four buttons that will allow you to interact with it. Clear, Check, Cancel, and Submit. Be aware that the ASR form cannot be saved. An ASR form has to be populated and submitted in OMGO. Otherwise, you will lose the information entered in the form. Below, you have the Expand or Collapse button, which will allow you to expand, or collapse, all the steps on the form. Under Step 1, the Sponsor Information, you need to fill in the Sponsor Organization Details subsection, followed by the Contact Details for ASR Submission. In the Sponsor Organization Details subsection, you need to select the organization responsible for the ASR submission from the drop-down list. This list will show only the organizations for which you have the role to submit an ASR. By clicking on the organization's name, the fields below will be filled in automatically. Then, you need to fill in the contact details for the ASR submission subsection. First, the full name should be populated. You can then tick the option, select the same contact or legal representative from the sponsor organization, if that is the case, so the organization name and address will be populated automatically. Otherwise, you need to provide this information. Finally, you need to include an email address and a phone number. Be mindful that, throughout the ASR form, the fields with asterisks are mandatory fields. To go to the next step in the form, you can either open it directly, or click on the next button, present in each section. In the second step, you need to fill in the clinical trial details. By clicking on the search clinical trial button, a trial search window will pop up, which you can use to search for the trial. The only condition is that the selected trial must have been authorized. In this example, we look for the authorized trials of the selected sponsor organization. After clicking on search, you get a list of trials that satisfy the search criteria. On the list, you can select one or more trials by using the radio buttons, and click on the Add to ASR button. This way you get the selected trials, and their related investigational medicinal products, or IMPs. You need to select at least one IMP per trial using the checkbox, and you have the option to add an auxiliary medicinal product, which you can look for from the pop-up window that appears after clicking on the additional Select Auxiliary Medicinal Product button. You can click on the check button on top of the page to see if the form is, so far, complete. You will see a red message on the right side of the screen. The two remaining sections are in red because they have not been completed. Click on Next button to continue to the Step 3, the ASR Reporting Period Details. In this section, you can indicate the following. Confirm if this is the sponsor's first ASR for any of the IMPs selected, by clicking on the Yes or No radio buttons accordingly. The data lock point, the cutoff date of selecting data for the ASR. The reporting period of the ASR, by using the two calendars fields to indicate a starting and ending period. Indicate whether or not the reference safety information, or RSI, was updated during the reporting period, and if the substantial modification on RSI was submitted and approved during the reporting period. Then, you need to select what the ASR includes, during the reporting period, from the available drop-down list. Selecting more than one option is possible. Click on Next button to continue to the Step 4 the supporting documents and submission of the ASR. In this step, you will need to upload at least one ASR document in PDF. You can also upload other documents such as the SMPC, the investigator's brochure, and other documents. You need to confirm the disclaimer at the bottom and click on the checkboxes accordingly. 
After that, you can scroll up and click on the check button. You can see the green message on top that the ASR form is valid and there is no mandatory information missing. To submit the ASR, you should click on the submit button and click on the confirmation button. Once submitted, you land in the ASR page on the ASR submission sub tab. The page outlines all the information about the ASR, which was populated using the four sections explained before, including the MSCs of the selected trials, the reporting period, the sponsor details, etc. In the next video of this module, you may see the content of the assessment sub tab. How to respond to requests for information received during the ASR assessment, and how to search and view an ASR. In case you are filling in an ASR, and want to cancel it and go back to the Annual Safety Reporting tab, you can click on the Cancel button, and then on the Confirmation button. If you want to erase the information that you have populated without closing the form, you can click on the Clear button. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on how to create an ASR submission form, cancel and submit it, as well as how to respond to requests for information received during the ASR assessment, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.